difference? Domaine Chancel is the Burgundy estate owned by uh, the Champagne House Bollinger. Um, the, uh, the property is, is run by Gilles de Courcel, and we've just been tasting through Gilles' 2010 reds from the Cote de Bone first and, and within the Cote Nui. Um, Gilles, it seems to be a pretty special vintage, no? Well, 2010 is a very good vintage indeed. Uh, and, you know, it's following a very, another very good vintage that we had in 2009. But what is interesting is that 2010 is different from 2009 in the way that uh, the maturation of the grapes has spread on to a much longer kind of period until the end of September. We only started the, the vintage on the 20th of September, allowing the grapes to mature very slowly, particularly during the three first week of September in a very, in a very nice way. And the final result is that the wines has gained, of course, all the maturity that you expect from a very good vintage, but very importantly, they have gained the precision, the true nature of the terroir where the grapes have been produced. So there's terrific sort of clarity and focus about the wines, I think. Yes, you find this precision, you find this clarity, you find this purity, mm -hmm. which is produced in 2010, which is very, very special, and that makes a very good vintage. What, what, what do you say is very true about the um, about the um, the expression of the different vineyards? You know, it, it, you can see it very much um, as we tasted through the range from from vineyards here in Bone. The you know the the, the absolute difference between the Claude de Mouche, the Claude de Fer, the, the Marconnet, the Greve, each one is is, is you know is beautifully expressed this year and, and very very different in, in in its own right. Yes, and that's what. Uh, it's, it's very specific to 2010 because, as you know, we have a very large uh, production of uh, wines uh, in Bern Premier Cru. We have 10 different Premier Cru, in fact. And 2010 is really the year when you go into an horizontal tasting of all these different Premier Cru vineyards from Bern. You see the very strict difference between a Clos des Mouches, a Bressand, a Clos des Fèves. A Clos des Mouches, you know, which is very pure, very fine, there's a hint of minerality into it. And the Claude Fèvre that comes with an even broader uh, scale, with uh, um, uh, more specific aromas, uh, very, very diverse, and particularly a very long length. And you see this difference of all these different climats from Burgundy uh, showing very well in 2010.